Hey everybody, um, doing a quick little uh, video here on uh, handling keyboard input on SFML. Um, as you can see, I have a uh, little circle um, that I'm moving around, um, pressing up, pressing left, right, down, and up again. So I want to show you guys how to do that. Um, there's actually a lot of different ways to do um, get information from the keyboard um, and so I'm just going to tell you how to do um, the keyboard listener today which is kind of the preferred way um, at least by the SFML folks they, they seem to recommend it in their tutorials um, and depending on the kinds of behaviors that you might want to get um, with the keyboard you might want to do some tricks with booleans or um, maybe playing around with the um, event um, of key released or key pressed um, but uh, for right now, this is, this is going to be just the, the main um, way of getting keyboard information, which is like checking, like, M is, is the key that I'm messing with getting pressed just a second? Okay. So um, let me shrink these down. So over here, um, we're, we're really just going to do one, one thing here. This is, this is pretty quick setup, which is we go in and we check the keyboard listener, which is keyboard, colon, colon, and then we can ask for is key pressed. Um, in this case, um, then we just feed it which key we want to listen to. So um, it's very nice if you, um, you know, type in, you know, keyboard, and then you can go into key, you can see that there is a gigantic list of all the keys. You can get all the function keys, all the numpad keys, um, you know, everything. Okay. Um, so that's really nice. So basically you just got to look at that list and decide which key that you want to listen for. Um, so right here I am going on and I'm checking for the left key. I'm printing out a little C out. Um, it says I press left and then I'm just setting the position, moving it over by one, uh, you know, one pixel every time I do that. Um, the reason it's going so slow is because I set the set frame rate limit to 60 frames a second. So at, you know, if, even if I hold down the key, I'm still only going to move 60 pixels every second. So that ends up being um, a sort of a nice mosey. We can tell what's happening. Um, so one of the things that you might have noticed is that I didn't, I, I used just straight up ifs. And so that lets me, in this case, if I hold down two keys, I can get that diagonal movement because it's getting uh, uh, evaluated at the same time. So that, that's pretty nice. Um, sometimes you want to only have one key um, pressed. So the, um, this is basically the best way to get continuous information from the keyboard. It's great for movement in a game. That, that's really kind of the ideal. It's not great for like, you know, press, T to toggle the, you know, the targeting reticle or something like that. Um, if you want to do something like that, then you um, might be wanting to look at events. And so events, um, uh, you can check out on the SFML page, but basically you'll look for a um, event.type and then you do event and then it's basically a, a keyboard uh, event and, and then you can you know trigger different behaviors based on that but um so um as you noticed when i hit this as long as i'm holding the key it's firing off information and it's firing it off as fast as possible so um you know again be a little bit careful with that if you want to make it so that i only pressed left one time um and then it you know stays until i hit another key right? So in this case, you don't want to let them go diagonal, then you can make a Boolean with like left key down, right? And so when I hit the key, it says, hey, the left key's down now, and we can um, let it up. But don't worry about that for right now. Um, this will get you started on using the keyboard. 